Good morning guys, it is Friday and um, I just went to my PO box and as you can see I got a parcel. I actually got two. This is one of them. This is from Teddy Blake so I already know what that one is but I don't really have the time to show you guys right now because I'm about to head to my next appointment but I also got this which I am extremely intrigued by. It's from India. I'm assuming it's from one of you guys because I was not expecting to get it. So that's kind of crazy. I'm really excited to open that, but I can't right now because I'm about to head off to my appointment. So today I just had the best morning. I slept until 7.30, got up and I just edited, which is like so incredibly nice. I haven't been able to do that for so long. And then I just ate breakfast and got ready for the day and put on some makeup because I haven't worn like a full face of makeup unless I was going to film or unless I was going to an 18th for months. So this is really nice. <laughs> but now I'm about to go and get my hair cut. And hopefully it actually happens this week because <laughs> last time it didn't. Yeah, say goodbye to all of my long hair. I'll be cutting it a bit short today. And um, then I'm going to hang out at my parents' house for a bit. I'm going to hang out there for a little bit. And then I'm going to go to work. And then I'm going to go get ice cream with my friends. So I'll talk to you guys later. So guys... I got my hair cut. What? What? Oh my gosh, it's so much shorter, but I absolutely love it. Like, it feels so healthy. Oh my golly goodness, I'm so happy. I was like, I was freaking out in there because I, I get really, really anxious in hairdressers. And I don't know why. I just feel like they're always judging me and judging my hair. And I know they're probably not. It's like their job. But I get so freaked out. <laughs> and I was like sweating. And so now I'm all like gross. And I just hate it. But like, I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Oh my goodness. I have to send a photo to my mum. <laughs> get a nice cream. What oh did you gosh, get, Skay? I got mint chocolates in using cream. What did you get, Georgia? I'll try some of yours. A pile of yeah, try it. Wait, I want to get your reaction. Oh. <laughs> no, you have to get a bit of chocolate in it because that's what makes yeah. it horrible. It makes it so good. I get Love Potion 31 for those of you who are asking because I'm sure all of you are asking. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Thank you. So what I did you get, Georgia? I don't lie to the camera, <laughs> the camera up and say it was disgusting. <laughs> what did you get, that Georgia? I got... Hokey pokey. Hokey pokey? What is hokey pokey? I actually don't know. Oh, you don't know. Is that caramel on it? Yeah, okay. Skay, do you notice anything different about me? Is it your hair? And then it was just, oh, that looks so good. <laughs> and then it was just tucked behind you. Do you like it? I really like it. I really like it. I also really like ice cream. I can't do this with my left hand. <laughs> I didn't realize I was so. Gonna make your life so much easier. Oh my goodness, for, like, yes. so long in a day. My hair is so short. Look how cute my ponytail is. It's so tiny. But I thought I would open my parcels. I also have a bunch of letters from you guys, which is so exciting. I absolutely love receiving letters from you guys. And so I thank you so much for that. And you don't understand how happy they make me. But I'm just going to open the parcels tonight and then open the letters tomorrow because I won't have enough time tonight. So it's already 11. I mean, not 11. It's already 10.30 and I start work at 8 tomorrow, which means I have to wake up at 6. So let's open the one from Teddy Blake. It's quite a big box, as you can see. Um, I'll link all of their information down below because they just make beautiful handbags and like clutches and stuff. They are all incredible quality. I think they're all leather, so they will last you forever. So this was sent to me. I'm not going to lie to you guys about it, but I will give you my completely honest opinion, as I always do. And they're not paying me to say this or anything either. I just wanted to share this with you guys. So they let me choose out a bag. And um, I just, like sent them a few ones that I liked. I was like, oh, I like these like colors and stuff. And so they sent me one, but I can't remember which one they ended up sending me because there were so many pretty ones that I just couldn't decide. So I let them decide for me. I have the packing slip. And it just looks like this. Oh my goodness. And it's packaged really, really well, guys. Like really well. There's also like packing um, like airbags and stuff in the bottom of the box as well. It feels like Christmas. Oh my goodness, how beautiful. So it's just like a big tan bag. This is gonna be perfect for uni 
because it's got that bottom so it will like sit up by itself and it's huge and then it has one of like a little dust bag so if i ever want to travel with it i can put that in there and this is such nice quality oh my goodness <gasps> it's beautiful so on the inside it has like a little like zip sort of pocket which is perfect and also just like another little pocket which hasn't got like a zip or anything so that would be perfect to like just put your phone in and then it just like clips shut hey guys just going to uni see ya just kidding that is so beautiful i love the color of it i love tan you guys know i love tan thank you so much teddy blake if you guys want to check out their stuff like i said i'll link it down below and they have so many bags so, so now i'm going to open this one of you guys sent me this and it's from I'm gonna butcher this name, I already know it. Nayanikasaki. Ne oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. That is the name. I'm so sorry that I can't read that. I don't know how to open it. Because it's like, they've like sewn it together. It's beautiful. You guys are sitting in my cupboard, by the way. Like, <laughs> because it was the only thing that was like, on oh my gosh, I feel so bad cutting it. Oh my goodness. <gasps> it's got a little flower on the front. And then I think I just cut this tape. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, is that a toe ring? <gasps> Beautiful, I love toe rings. I've never had one before, but... I collected the Santa erasers one Christmas, hoping I could give it to you someday. That is so cute. She gave me a little Santa eraser and a little, like, crystal, like, toe ring. And she put a little thing saying, you're cute as a button. That is so sweet. I found this cute toe ring this winter in January. I have a similar one, although I wear mine on my hand. So I could wear it on my hand as well. <gasps> How beautiful. And I think this is just like a bracelet. <gasps> so pretty. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Dear Rachel, I'm, and then she wrote a name, but then in brackets, is it Nika or Nika, N-I-K-A? And I'm from India. I hope my letter finds you in good health. Congratulations on graduating with such a good OP and on the fact that you're moving out. So I'll probably be a high school graduate by May. Oh my goodness, so you probably would have already graduated by now because it is the 1st of June today. There have been times when I've wanted to give up because of the pressure we face at this stage. But seeing you the way you are, acknowledging this pressure and still pushing through it no matter what, has inspired me a lot. You have been inspiring me for such a long time. My mum and cousin sister love you too. And I've found them many times scrolling through your videos. That's so cute. Oh my goodness. There was a time when I lost my faith in God, but hearing you has helped me regain that faith. I do not work. It's basically unheard of at 18 years to be working in our country, having a part-time job. Oh really? That's so interesting. But seeing your commitment and hard work, I want to do it to gain work experience. So I'll probably think about it after I've finished my exams. Anyways, I'd like to thank you once again for inspiring me, my sisters, my brothers, and so so many thousands besides me. I love you. Lots of love and gratitude. Nika. P.S. I hope you won't mind my mistakes. English is not my first language. Also, I've enclosed my favorite bracelet. It's been a lucky charm for years. I hope you're not offended. I'm not offended at all. I think it's beautiful. Thank you so much. That is so sweet of you. You guys are so incredibly sweet. I love you guys so much. And thank you so much. I hope it's Nika. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Nika. Nika. I don't know. Please forgive me. But thank you so much. This means the world to me. You are so incredibly lovely. But um, I better go to bed, guys, because I have to be up very soon. But I love you guys so much. And I'm just... I'm so incredibly blessed to have you guys. Like, you don't understand how happy you guys make me. I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. I just got home from work. It is, like, 2 o'clock, and I had a really good shift, but I do need to have, like, a one-minute rant. Number one, stealing does not make you cool. Number two, trashing a store or messing up a store because you think it'll be funny to your friends is also not cool. And three, people need to learn how to use their stupid indicators while driving because the amount of people who don't use them is ridiculous, especially around roundabouts. It's not that difficult. Okay, I'm done. I'm feeling better now. I've just made myself some lunch or like I've eaten my lunch because I was hungry <laughs> and that's usually what I do when I get home from work but my house is a mess. It is a absolute mess and this lighting is great so I need to clean it. I'm gonna write a to-do list so I get everything 
done. So do you guys want to hear my to-do list for today? Organize my clothes, wash my dishes, put the dishes away, tidy bedroom, vacuum the house, clean countertops, make bed, upload video, do the thumbnail, tidy bedroom. But it may like increase because my house is a mess. And I like today is Saturday, so it's a really good cleaning day. Story time with Georgia. Oh, I love that story. Hey. How do you feel? Sure. No, stop. <laughs> so I'm a little moody today. I love you, me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a rainbow potato today. Stop getting better content than me. <laughs> no, you don't understand. <laughs> it's my birthday. You're a liar. It's not your birthday. Soon. <laughs> yeah, it is soon. So I cleaned the whole house and now it's oh. like. No. You don't want to be in it? I'm going to be in it. So I cleaned the whole house and then <laughs> I cleaned the house and I had dinner and then I was like, hey, DJ, do you want me to film you? I was like, hey, <laughs> no, no, he looks like a potato. And it's more of an egg. <laughs> can you get like this? Can you get like this as well? <laughs> I cleaned the kitchen. I actually look like an egg. Oh. Okay. Just make yourself comfortable. <laughs> I'm gonna go home. No! Just oh my gosh, I, I can't wait to watch that footage back because I think I actually look like distressed. No! 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 She said. <laughs> but I had dinner and then yeah, Georgia came over because I was like, Georgia and Skate, what are you doing to Are you doing Right, come over and steal my water and <laughs> steal my blanket? Fine, no worry. <laughs> Anyway, like I was saying, I messaged Georgia and Skay to see what they were doing tonight, but Skay's working till nine, and Georgia doesn't stay awake till nine, so Georgia's gonna stay for a while, and then she'll probably leave before Skay gets here. That's okay, I'll just have more fun without you. Do wombats have knees and elbows? Here's what I found on the web for do wombats have knees and elbows. LiveScience.com. Use my code for 20 minutes. <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> do wombats have knees or elbows? They're just saying dumb things. Well, it's a science website. I'm sure it's not that dumb. <laughs> it's not telling me what I want. What did it say? Oh, right. <coughs> Do wombats have knees? Do you reckon some people don't know what a wombat is? No. <gasps> because they're not from Australia? Yeah. I'll insert I'll a picture <laughs> of one here. <laughs> oh my gosh. We have so much in common. Facts about... Facts about <laughs> facts about wombats. Oh, okay. So if you don't know what a wombat is, mm -hmm. it's a. It looks like a cross between a bear, a pig, and a go gopher. I don't know what that is. They are built for digging with short legs, compact heads. <laughs> I like a good compact head. Oh, I love myself a compact head. But a wombat's pouch is backwards, and their poop is cube shaped. Do dogs have elbows? Yeah, they do. Let's look My at cat has elbows <laughs> and knees. Dogs do. Let me look at a picture. Think of Milo. <laughs> Milo has elbows and knees. That just has feet. Ah! He's just got feet. <laughs> oh, whoa. They do not have elbows. No. No. Yeah, it just looks like little stumps. But how do they move? Do they have to just like... Okay, so just say like... Wobble. This is... Well, they wobble to move. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So like if they like had this and they, they don't have um, elbows, does that mean they have to like do this? Yeah. To walk? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's really hard doing it through a camera. Didn't they wobble? Mm. Right, okay. So if we were wombats, can you imagine if they're, like, their back legs were longer than their front legs? So they'd oh, be like this. That'd be annoying. And this is what they do. No, but you're bending your elbows. Am I actually? Yeah. Are you joking? <laughs> I'd be like, go to school and be like, look at this. <laughs> when I was like, eight. I wonder if I can still do it. We should call it flying. <laughs> My friend James taught me back in year four, I think. Okay, so it wasn't eight. <laughs> wow. Are you breathing right now? <laughs> Probably. I can't remember. I just said you stop breathing. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to my breathing.
I totally forgot to film an outro, so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I actually really like this one. And leave me a comment below just telling me an interesting fact, whether it's about wombats or not. I just really love reading your comments. So I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.